Hello friends, welcome to this video. This is Rohit. In this video, we will try to understand how we can execute JavaScript within our Android phone. Okay. So in order to execute JavaScript within Android phone, we need to install one application called JS run that is JavaScript run. Friends, I have already installed this application within my mobile phone. Uh, if you want to install, you can simply go to play store and search for JS run. It will be available. Okay. So after installing it within your phone, this icon will be appear. Okay. So in order to start working with JS run, I will simply tap on this JS run icon. Okay. This is simple interface of JS run application. Friends, before exploring the JS run application, I will try to give you a quick intro about the JavaScript. So basically JavaScript is world's most popular programming language. JavaScript is the programming language of the web and JavaScript is easy to learn. Okay. So if you are a web developer, so you must be aware about three languages, including HTML for defining content of web page, CSS for specifying the layout or style of web pages and then JavaScript to define the behavior of web pages. Okay. So basically JavaScript help us to make web pages dynamic. Okay. So JavaScript will add responsiveness to our web pages. Okay. So JavaScript is client side scripting language. Okay. So regarding this JS run, so JS run is basically JavaScript run, which help us to write and execute simple JavaScript code within our Android phone. Okay. So the JS run that is JavaScript editor will help us to write and run simple JavaScript program with features like syntax highlighting, auto tabs, auto closing brackets and quotes, themes like dark light. Okay then code can be saved to the files or you can share your code from JS run to various applications. The output operations with console.log or it supports alert, prompt, confirm these functions. Okay. So basically this application is acting like your Chrome console with fast result, object printing and multiple console log arguments okay so whatever you can do with a chrome browser on your desktop all that things you can do within this js run application within your android phone okay so this interface of this js run is quite simple uh, here at the top right corner you can see uh, three dots are there so if you tap on this it will open this simple menu okay so it has new option save option save as open toggle theme toggle font headline number share and about okay so new option is used for creating new file then save option is used for uh, or it is used to save the current file then save as it is used to save as the file with different name or to the different location then open option is used for opening file if you have already save your file on your local storage, you can access it again using this open option. Then you have toggle theme means you can switch between dark and light theme. So for example, if you are right now light theme and if you want to switch to dark theme, so simply you can tab on this toggle theme. So dark theme will get selected then toggle font. So if right now we have this font, Okay, so if you want to switch this font, then you can use this toggle font. So you can see font is changed. Okay, it has support to the two fonts only. So you can switch between these fonts. Then hide line numbers. You can see in a coding part right now line numbers are shown. Okay, one, two, like this. So if you if you don't want line number, you can simply hide this line number. So right now. 
we have selected hide line number that's why line numbers are invisible okay so if you want to show again you can use this show line numbers so it will be shown again then you have share option to share this code you can tap on the share option it will show you different options for sharing your code then at last you have about which will show the version and developer details as well as if you want to report any bug you can use the link given within this about menu okay so this is how the simple interface of js run is there so i will try to create one new file here and i will try to save that file so here i will try to save that file with name demo1 dot js dot js is the extension of javascript file you can include this file within your html page using script tag okay so i will tap on okay so our file is saved with name demo dot demo one dot js so here now i will try to show you simple javascript statements okay and we will try to execute them so first of all i will try to create one variable here using var statement so var a is equal to i will store some value within it let's say hello okay and at last i will put semicolon okay and now we will try to display the value of a using alert function so i will write alert and in opening closing round bracket a okay so within this demo one dot js we have two statements right now first statement is creating one variable a with value hello and second statement will create one alert box okay and which will consist value of a so if i want to run this code i will simply tap on this button besides to these three dots here you can see one alert box is shown here with value or with message hello okay so in order to make it disappear i will tap on okay okay so like this we can use alert function within our program now next simple program i will try to show you how we can accept value from user and how we can display it using alert okay so again i will create one variable here where let's say age okay and i will try to use prompt function here for accepting value from user okay so alert is used for displaying some message to user prompt is used for reading some value from user so prompt in round bracket i will write message enter your age and at last there will be semicolon in javascript every statement is ended with a semicolon okay so first statement here will accept the age value from user now we want to display this value so again i will use alert function here now in round bracket now i i want to print message your age is and followed by whatever age user has entered so here in alert i will write one message your age is okay followed by this we want the age value whichever user has entered okay so here plus operator will be used within javascript for concatenating your string with the variable value so right now your age is a string and we want to concatenate this string with the value of age variable so here i will write age and at last there will be semicolon again okay so we have two statements here first statement for reading the value of age from user using prompt function and it will get stored with an age and then alert function will simply display the age value so plus operator here is acting as a concatenation operator for concatenating string with variable value okay so i will simply tap on again this button to execute this okay so you can see it is prompting for entering 
the age value so i will enter age here let's say 24 tab on ok now you can see the message it is displaying your age is 24 okay so we have used prompt function for reading value from user okay next quick example i will show you how you can add two numbers within javascript okay so logic will be same you will need three variable two variables will consisting value and third variable will consisting result of their addition so i will create variable a and i will initialize it with value 10 next variable i will create b i will initialize with value 20 okay here i have declared their values immediately you can read their value using prompt function as well if you want okay next i will declare variable c and i will write a plus b okay so here the addition will be stored within variable c okay so line number four where we are writing the formula for addition and now on line number for you i will use alert function to display the addition so again here i will type message the addition okay there is some mistake within spelling addition is and then i want to display the addition which is stored within c variable so again i will use plus operator and at last there will be a semicolon okay so let's try to run this code here you can see message the addition is 30 okay so like this you can try different simple javascript program within your mobile phone uh, friends if you observe my keyboard i have installed the programming keyboard so it making my typing task more easy you can see all special symbols are available on the top as well as i have navigation symbol here okay which allow me to navigate my cursor at appropriate location in fast manner okay all special symbols and curly brackets which frequently need while writing code all that are available for quick access okay so if you want you can go to play store and you can search for programming keyboard and install this it will be really really helpful and enjoyable uh, to write code within our mobile phone otherwise with your normal keyboard it is quite tedious because we need to continuously switch between the characters and special symbols okay friends if you find this video useful please share it with your friend if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel i will see you next video thank you for watching